All right, this is kind of a follow-up video to the one prior, uh, pouring your own leads. Told you guys to show you how to coat them yourselves. And that's what we're gonna do here. Does a really good job. Here's one I coated up. Okay, it's a rubberized coating, so you're not handling bare lead. You know, it just does a real good job, in my opinion, does a good job. But first things first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this a quick sanding. I just take some 220 grit sandpaper. Okay, we don't want this perfectly smooth like this. Get it scratched up. That way that the uh, spray we're gonna use has something to grip a hold of, you know? We don't just want it nice and smooth. some this way and we're just scratching this up so that the spray the coating we're going to use really has something to bite onto you don't want to use a real coarse paper it'll just look like heck if you do so can see that or not try to zoom in you can see it just got it all scratched up okay that's what we want just put a bunch of scratches in it go ahead and hit the top around your eyelet and hit the bottom quickly okay next just take paper towel wipe it down get any dust off any lead dust you just made from sanding. Don't get it wet, don't use any paint thinner or nothing like that, it's not necessary. Now I'm gonna get some painter's tape and we're gonna tape this eyelid up. Okay, I'm just gonna take this. And we're just gonna tape our eyelid. Simple stuff. Take a pair of scissors and lift up in between so I can get the spray under there just a little bit. Just something like that. Come through and poke a hole. Put it right on a piece of wire like this. Okay, there we go. Just like that. It's hanging lower than I want, really, but and what I'm going to use for a coating is this black flex seal. Works real good. I grabbed a can just a few months back. Said I'll use that for something. It's gonna be great for this right here. So what I'm gonna do, shake it up good. Make sure it's coming out good. I'm gonna hit the bottom first quickly. Hit the top. And you put on a pretty good coat. But don't, uh, you don't want any runs. You don't go too thick because it, you will, it'll run on you. gonna do it right there and you 
guys can see it's kind of got a heavy texture right now that will all lay in as this dries so don't worry about it too much just get a good coat on it make sure you're not putting it on so thick that it's gonna run and just let it dry 24 hours and you'll be all set once it's all said and done it's gonna look like this you can see it lays in pretty good nothing wrong with that at all all right guys once you're all done this is what you're gonna have you have a nice set of weights that cost you about three dollars worth of propane to make go to the junkyards you can ask and buy lead off them for cheap you can stop by tire shops and get the tire weights uh, use old sinkers whatever you just save up some lead you'll get a bunch and uh, go ahead and pour yourself some nice weights get them coated up like we showed in your videos and you guys will be fishing but appreciate you guys stopping by hope everyone gets on the fish this year